What's up guys, Jaxel here. Going to be talking about today the next add-on I have upgraded to Zenfora 2, and that would be my Discord integration add-on. It's one of my relatively newer add-ons, but with the explosion in popularity of Discord, you know, this add-on has become more popular as well. Now this is more than just a simple authentication uh, a thing so that people can register and log into your forums through Discord. It does a lot of synchronization between your forum and Discord to sync uh, user names and roles as well as post messages, things like that. So if you've used the previous version, not much has changed. Uh, if you haven't, well then keep watching the video. We will explain how things work. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is going to go to the options screen and scroll down to the Discord integration options. And that will bring us to our default options, which is, you know, less options because nothing is really set up. Um, so before we do this, we're going to want to set up our own Discord server. Now, I have already created a server. Uh, you can do that easily by clicking Create Server. So I created a server. I called it 8WR Test. I created a whole bunch of text channels. And then I have, uh, what else did I do? Oh, I added a few roles, uh, three specifically, first, second, and third. The bot will not be able to control at everyone or manage uh, roles, which is this one. This role will be set up by our bot later. So at everyone will not show up in your roles list because that's just everyone who connects to the server. So if you, you want to use this add-on, you really want to set up your own roles. All right, so we've got our server set up. I am administrator of this server because I have created it. Now, once the server is set up, it'll say before using this add-on, you must first set up a Discord developer application. Um, now, what we're going to do is simply click this link. And this will bring you to your developer screen of Discord. And if you're not logged in, it'll ask you to log in. But either way, this is where it's going to take you. And what you're going to want to do is create a new app. You're going to make an app just for your server. This is the bot that's going to control the syncing with your servers. Um, I've already created an app. Uh, called AWR test. I named it the same exact thing as my server. So we're going to look at that app instead. All right. So we've got our app here. The name is AWR test and two redirect URIs. Now these URIs are going to be unique to your uh, website and they're going to be listed right down here. Now on my, uh, in this video, I've obfuscated with five asterisks. But this is going to be um, unique to you. And you're just going to want to cut and paste them and put them in this field. And then once that's done, scroll down to the bottom and click Save. And that will create your uh, app for this function. And after that, you're going to see a uh, option for, or I'm sorry, a message for you must set up Discord in the connected account section of your admin control panel. And that, of course, as well, is a link which will actually take us to right here, the connected account section. And at the bottom is a new provider called Discord. And we're going to click on that. And it's asking for three specific pieces of information, which we can find on our app screen. Client ID, just take that, cut and paste. Client secret, take that, cut and paste. And then as we scroll to the bottom, uh, in this bot section, it's going to ask if you want to create a bot. You're going to want to create a bot and then cut and paste the token and place it right there. Now, the bot is the one who's going to be managing all your messaging and role syncing on your server. So you w need to have a bot. And then we're going to click Save. Now, once that is saved, we're going to head back to the options screen and go to Discord integration again. And that first message is now gone and has been replaced with a server ID field 
and with a button that says assign Discord application bot to a guild. Now we just created this uh, application bot here. Uh, it needs to know what server it's going to join and we need to tell it to join the server we created here. So we're gonna click on that and it's going to take us uh, to, to uh, Discord. And it's going to say, add a bot to a server, select which server you want it to join. And we wanted to join 8WR test. That's the server we made for this purpose. And we want to make sure it has administrator permissions. By default, uh, this form is going to give it administrator position, so you shouldn't need to change anything. And just click authorize. And then I am not a robot. Beep boop, I'm a robot. And it sends us back to our Discord options. Now this is a lot suddenly there's a lot more information on the screen because we've been able to connect. And first thing it did is it fetched our three roles that we created. Now, if you remember, we went back here and I created three roles, first, second, and third. And next to each role is a uh, drop-down menu with all the user groups we have here on my Zenforo forum. And basically, what I'm going to do is say anyone who's an administrator on this forum is going to get assigned the third role. Anyone who's a moderator will get assigned the second role. And anyone who's registered will get assigned the first role. And that all takes place as long as the enable role syncing option is here. We can also sync usernames so that if uh, someone's username changes, on uh, on the website, it changes on the Discord. And then we could also sync bans. So if someone gets banned from the website, they get banned from the Discord as well. Then we have some channels at the bottom and we can post directly to channels. Now here we have, oh, we have three channels, general, text one, and text two. And I'm going to say, any new threads automatically get posted in text one. Um, any replies get posted in, I'm sorry, new threads go in general. New posts go into text one. Uh, new profile posts go into text two. And for live streams from Zenrio, I'll just leave that blank for now. And payload size is the size of the quoted text. And we're going to click save. And that's pretty much it we're done we're set up yay so here's what we're going to do now we're going to head back to our forum our test forum now remember this is my test server and it's very slow so i apologize for how long things are taking to load and let's head to the forums let's head to the main forum and i'm going to post a new thread i'm going to say this is a Discord test, and I am just testing to make sure new threads get posted to the Discord server. And I'm going to click post a thread. And automatically, I heard it. Now, you guys don't have sound, but I heard it. Here we go. Jaxel posted a new thread. This is a Discord test. I am just testing to make sure this thread gets posted to the Discord server. Voila! Now, a new reply. And there we go. There's another post, and that post in text one. Yay! Uh, Jaxel replied to the thread. This is a Discord text. New reply to the Discord server. And then I can also, is, Jaxel is testing Discord. And that was my profile post. And Jaxel updated their status, is testing Discord. Easy enough, nice syncing and whatnot there. With that, we can also go to connected accounts and associate your account with Discord. I already have done this, which is why it's already filled out. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Now, 
one of the uh, questions I used to get a lot is, can I set up this uh, channel posting on a node per node basis? Yes, you can. If we head to the node tree, uh, we can see options here, a new button for Discord. And by clicking on that, we can choose different channels as well as completely disable different uh, messages, etc., on a per node basis. And uh, yeah, so Discord. I use it on my uh, main forum. And so what happens is with my main forum, uh, let's look at great one roles. Here we go. Let's uh, look at my main forum, how it's set up in Zen 401. Uh -huh. Okay, there we go. And I've got my roles set up here. Administrators, moderators, premium, and registered. And so if we look at great one, we can see that he is an administrator, moderator, and registered on the forum. So he was applied to here. Uh, anyone who is registered on the forum gets a blue username. Premium members get a nice green username. And we have some auto posting from live streams here, media library uploads, wiki activity, but those are some additional add-ons. And so it works. Anyways, peace out, guys.